Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Kayla and I'm going to be telling you how I maintain my 4.0 average at the University of Michigan and places and things to avoid if you want to do that as well. So let's get into the video. I'm going to start with a little bit about me. I'm a sophomore here at the University of Michigan and I'm studying at the Ross School of Business. That means that I have the infamous Ross Curve. The Ross Curve essentially means that only the top 40% of students at the University of Michigan Ross School of Business can get an A. What that means is that no matter what grade you have, if you're not in top 40%, you're not getting that A. And then the top 60 get a B, and so if you're not in top 60%, you pretty much automatically have a C. It's a crazy curve and we have intense grade deflation. With that said, I've mastered a couple of tricks and best study practices here at the University of Michigan that I want to share with you all. First things first, is making sure that you are in the mental space to lock in. No matter where you lock in, whether I was in the University of Michigan Raw School of Business, in my house, in my dorm, or just outside, I always made sure that I was in the mental space to actually get work done. Sometimes a project or an assignment that will take you only one to two minutes on another day will take you 15 to 30 if your headspace is just not in the right place. And at the University of Michigan, stuff is so busy. There's people walking in and out every day, thousands of people on this campus. So if you're deciding to work on campus and you're mentally not involved, you will take 10 times longer to get an assignment done than if you just waited a couple hours and did it at home or did it when you were feeling a little bit better. And another part of making sure that you're in the mental space is making sure that every single aspect of your health is in place. Whether that's your mental health, your social health, your actual physical health, or your financial health, all components of that need to be in a green or healthy space for you to get work done because otherwise you're going to be worrying. One way to alleviate one of those stressors is by downloading the Fizz app. The Fizz app will help educate you on different financial topics so that you can feel a little bit secure. I know as a first gen student who is on a scholarship, understanding scholarships, housing, making sure you have enough money to pay for different tests, different tools, quizzes, random variables that will pop up at your college time can be extremely stressful. But with the Fizz app, not only can you manage your budget, set goals for yourself, and build your credit for your future, you can also learn a lot about different financial or personal planning strategies that will come in handy in the future. Now getting into the nitty gritty on some things you want to know, where are the best places to study here at the University of Michigan? I have my favorites, everyone's going to tell you something different, but me personally, my favorite place to study is at The Ugly or in the Ross School of Business. Now, the Ross School of Business has specialty study rooms for Ross students, but you can easily get one of your Ross friends to book one of those rooms for you so that you can use it to lock in. I love locking in in those study rooms. They have state-of-the-art technology, it's quiet, you're you know able to see people. I'm a very big people watcher, so I love being able to look out the window and like see people walking by and still get my work done. And then I love the Ugly, the undergraduate library, AKA Shapiro. Shapiro has a amazing coffee shop and it's open 24 hours a day. You will see people if you wake up in the morning and go to Shapiro you will see people who were sleeping yesterday and they will be they will literally wake up around 6 or 7 a.m. and pretend that they didn't just take a nap in the library and get right back to it that place is really good for getting yourself in the mental zone of getting stuff done especially when you really don't want to like me today if I needed to get stuff done and really like needed to lock in I would bring myself to the ugly because there you just have like a really productive focus the third floor of the ugly is where everyone centralizes but I actually really like to stay on the first floor or even the second floor because those are heavily trafficked and like I said I am a people watcher I love to watch people while I study so that's really fun to like be able to type see people going in and out hear interesting conversations but it really is up to you another one of my favorite places to study here on campus is at the Union the Union is just gorgeous again it has a lot of people if you're someone who needs good background noise the, the Union is a really good place to lock in again it's people in and 
and out. They have so many floors too. So if you want more of an old rustic vibe or a, you know, really library, like Harry Potter type of vibe, that's there too. But then you can also go to the third floor and get like this clean modern vibe. Whatever vibe you want, it's in the union. And the union is just like everyone's centralized place. And lastly, my favorite place to study is at home. I am a big homebody and I love being in my house. I will sit on this couch right here or I'll be in my room and I will just spend hours upon hours on my computer just trying to get stuff done. That's actually what I'm gonna do after I'm done recording this video is work on studying my French. So a little bit of on and off techniques. And now getting into my last part of this video and that is utilizing study techniques to make sure that your learning is enhanced. One of my favorites is called priming. When you are priming yourself, that essentially means before you even go into a class, you've already read the PowerPoint and try to teach yourself on your own. Priming has been shown to increase your efficiency of actually understanding concepts. So if you prime yourself before going into a class, when the teacher actually explains a new concept, you can actually listen to what she's saying rather than trying to listen and understand at the same time. Sometimes for those really hard courses for calculus or for a really statistical heavy course or even just for a course that has lots of definitions, priming can change your life. It's the reason why at the University of Michigan, all French and language courses require that you learn the material before you even get to class so that when they're using the words in class or trying to teach you, you're not just completely lost. The last thing I like to use is active recall or active memory. Essentially what that means is that you are going to recall everything you know presently and then try to fill in those gaps. I am going to write down all the words I know in English and then try to find the French words and then if there's a word that I'm missing then I'll fill it in. That just allows you to keep building upon your long-term memory rather than that short-term memory so that you don't have to spend all your time reviewing stuff you don't want to know. And last but not least what's very popular here at the University of Michigan is being able to teach someone else. Here at the University of Michigan we have whiteboards everywhere. There's whiteboards in almost every academic building free to use with markers and erasers to use because people love to teach other people. We actually do a whiteboard method which is essentially is writing everything you know and doing a brain dump on a whiteboard and then one trying to explain it to your friend and then two trying to make sure that it encompasses everything you need to know. That's like a really big insider's tip I would say or insider technique at the University of Michigan. It's not anything special like we did not invent it but it is very popular here. Hopefully these tips were very helpful. It's how I've managed to contain and maintain my grade point average here but also it's how I've been able to make new friends and relax a little bit. Here at the University of Michigan you know we work hard and we play hard but but making sure you work as hard as you play is a fine line that some people usually you know have a trouble balancing and I get it but if you can make sure that you prioritize your health you're making sure you're in the right mindset for learning you're priming you're using study techniques that work for you then you are going to achieve so much more so that was it for this video my name was Kayla and hopefully these were helpful if you leave some comments down below if you have any questions I will answer them and I will see you all next time Bye everyone.